in the server manager we have to um, activate IIS and other stuff. So I go server manager dashboard add roles and features. And it's not ready yet. <laughs> Why are you not ready yet? You are already running one minute. Okay, now I want to install IIS first. So here we have to add a couple of roles and features. Um, role based installation is fine. Next step server selection is fine. It's my current server. Server roles, okay. I don't know exactly which one I should use, but of course, as I would recommend all of to, to all of you, use this handy guide from Razorleaf. It's really perfect. It's we just follow this guide. So we have let's use a split screen. So web server IIS. Hmm. What did I click now? Web server IIS, add features. Okay. Yeah, exactly. In the features section. .NET. I, I will not install this .NET 3.5 features. I never needed them. Um, 4.6 is fine. Here we have to include ASP.NET 4.6. And in the role services section. We have web server, common default, static arrows, health and diagnostics, logging. Yeah, request monitor makes sense. Performance, that's okay. Security. I don't need Windows notification in my case. So I will just leave it away. Um, application development. As this one was here. These are important. You will get error messages when you forget some. Oh, no, we don't need the 3.5. I just need this one. 4.6. The filters are fine. .NET is okay. Oh, I don't want to have so much .NET stuff. Um, management console, yes. Um, scripts and tools. Management servers. I actually don't need some management service. Oh, let's install it. Okay. Request monitor. That should be fine for the start. 